G'day, welcome to another curriculum burst. Here's a geometry question for middle schoolers, which goes as follows. A square with side length 2 and a circle share the same center. Okay, square, circle, same center. Got it. The total area of the regions that are inside the circle and outside the square is equal to the total area of the regions that are outside the circle and inside the square. Okay, I just read that, but I have no idea what I just said. What is the radius of the circle? All right, so we're going for the radius of the circle, and we're given some weird information. Now, what was that weird information again? I'm going to say it again. The total area of the regions that are inside the circle and outside the square. So you'd be inside the circle and outside the square. Ah, that's this region. It's inside the circle, outside the square. This one, this one, this one. All right, that total area is, is what? Is equal to the total area of the regions that are outside the circle and inside the square. Outside the circle and inside the square are these ones. I'll just draw dots. Okay, so I guess the area of the shaded stuff, we're being told, equals the area of the dotty stuff. Despite what my picture looks like. I've got a bad picture. All right, so somehow the square and the circle are slightly larger or smaller scaled correctly, so these dotty areas add up to the same as the shaded areas. Bingo. Now, what's the question? Uh, what is the radius of the circle? Ooh, do I have any numbers in this question? Uh, the square has side length 2. Oh, okay, this is 2. Ooh, that's the only information, information I have. This seems really hard. This seems really hard. Ooh, what can I do here? All right, all right. Since this question's about areas, maybe I should like really think about areas. Um, for example, all right, all right, okay, I can look at the area of the square, it happens to be 4, and look at the area of the circle. It seems strange, I know nothing about the circle, but the circle is made of the shaded stuff plus this inside thing. I'll write I for inside. For so far, oh, oh, area of the circle is the inside stuff plus the shaded. And the area of the square, which we know is 4, is also the inside stuff plus the dotty stuff. Oh, I've just seen strategy 9 in my mind, how to avoid hard work. Something has just occurred to me. I've just had an epiphany. As I wrote that, something brilliant just flashed into my mind, and I bet it's going to flash into your mind too. Stare at this. Something amazing is going on. In fact, I'm very pleased with this. This is, this is lovely. Stare at it. Doesn't matter how long an epiphany takes. They can take days, weeks, minutes, seconds. Who knows? Epiphanies are epiphanies. But something wonderful is happening right there. So when you're ready, have a look at the essay that goes with this video. Let's, let's compare notes on this one. Plus, do some extra problems that have been inspired by this very lovely challenge here. All right, thanks so much. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.